I came into law school wanting to make change in the world as bold and naive as that sounds. And I didn't really think that I would get that opportunity until after I graduated law school. Um, but I found that through different classes and clinics, I've really gotten the chance to actually be part of the change that I've wanted to see in the world. It's surreal. Uh, it's surreal that it's gone so fast. From day one, like the people in my section were so supportive of each other. Everyone really worked together to help each other get to where they are now as 3Ls. Being in law school has exposed me to how many different possibilities are out there and what I want to do in the future as well. So one of the communities that I've been really involved in during my time at Columbia has been the Black Law Students Association. And one of my favorite events uh, that happens every year is the Paul Robeson Gala. As a 2L, I was the co-chair of the gala. It was amazing to see everybody enjoying good food and fellowship. I really liked uh, human rights with um, Professor Cleveland and Professor Clooney. I thought that was a really fantastic course. It just gave me such a great grounding of how international human rights instruments work. I was in a clinic last year, the Health Justice Advocacy Clinic, and I got to work on a piece of legislation. And we went to Congress and got to testify in Congress, and that was something I would never have thought I would have been able to do in law school and didn't have an expectation about that. It was just so amazing to be able to see something that I care about actually be changed for the better. When the pandemic happened, uh, we switched over to virtual classes um, pretty quickly. Being taken out of the law school environment and still continuing to do law school um, was definitely a weird experience. And I think I was kind of resistant to it at first. Zoom socializing just doesn't do it for me. I, I really miss seeing my classmates in person. I miss uh, Middle Eastern Law Students Association dinners at Middle Eastern restaurants around New York City. I miss that a lot. We've really been, I think, tested. Um, we came in expecting, you know, one experience and we're coming out with a completely different one. There haven't been too many Zoom hiccups. There have been certainly a few instances of, uh, you know, people's pets showing up, which is always enjoyable uh, when someone's, you know, dog or cat pops into the Zoom frame. I think we have like a good Zoom understanding in my house. <laughs> When the door is closed, you don't walk in. My mom interrupted me once during a class to ask me about something for dinner. And that wasn't great because I was giving a presentation at the time. But. So if I had advice for a student first walking into the law school, I would say absolutely do not be afraid to ask questions. We're high achieving. We're used to getting things right the first time. And law school is one of the first instances in which we kind of struggle a little bit. and. I think people just need to understand that it's super normal. Uh, as a 3L looking back at 1L, I would tell myself to go out more and get outside my room, get outside my comfort zone more. The people that you meet in law school are going to be people that you will encounter um, forever in, in your career. After graduation, I will be joining Wilkie Farr and Gallagher um, as a law clerk in New York City. After law school, I'll be hopefully passing the bar and then I will be working for a union side labor firm in Washington, D.C. called Red Hoff and Kaiser. I'll be going to London uh, to work at Allen & Overy, which is a law firm uh, that's based in London. I think the next six months will be quick. Bittersweet. Sleepless. Disorienting. Challenging. And exhilarating.